After I did a few guitar related videos where I rushed over the fret leveling process, I got a few requests to show how the fret leveling is done in more detail. And since I got a new neck on my workbench waiting for a fret job, I figured I might just make a video for you guys to show you how I do the fret leveling on this neck. So what are the tools needed for fret leveling? Well, let me put it that way. Of course you can buy dedicated tools like a fret leveling file and a fret crowning file. And if you're planning to do a lot of fret leveling, you probably should spend the money. But especially if you only need to work on one or maybe two guitars, those expensive tools aren't really necessary. So let me show you what tools you really need. Here I have a straight piece of wood with a perfectly flat surface. And that will become my leveling beam. Then I need double stick tape, masking tape, sandpaper in various grids from 220 up to 1000, metal file and steel wool. The first step is to get the neck straight. Ideally you would use a notch straight edge to make sure the fretboard is flat. And you can easily make a notch straight edge out of a straight ruler or, like I did, out of a straight piece of cardboard. And to get the neck as straight as possible, I adjust the thrust rod accordingly. Then I cover the fretboard with masking tape, leaving only the frets exposed. And now I mark every fret with a sharpie. Naturally, to level the frets, you need a fret leveling file or a fret leveling beam. And pretty much anything straight and flat can be used as a leveling beam. For example, a piece of wood like this. I just had to make sure that the surface is perfectly flat. Now to turn this piece of wood into a fret leveling beam, I simply attach 220 grit sandpaper with double stick tape. Now I take the leveling beam and I go back and forth over the whole fretboard. And I make sure not to bump against the nut. Here you can see how much material I've already removed from the high frets. Now to make all the frets perfectly level, I continue sanding the frets until all the markings of the sharpie are gone. Now while sanding I make sure that I maintain the radius of the fretboard. Now that all the frets have the same height, meaning the frets are perfectly level, the actual fret leveling is done. But as you can see, some of the frets have been sanded very flat, because these used to be the high frets. And I can't leave it like that, because it's very uncomfortable to play, and because the point of contact with the strings should be in the middle of the fret, and not at the edge. So the frets have to be rounded again. And to round over the frets, I could use a fret crowning file, but a simple file like this works great too. And if you don't have a file, you can simply glue some sandpaper to a small piece of wood. Again, I mark all the frets that need to be crowned with a sharpie. Then I take my little file and I start filing the frets at an angle. And then I tilt the file inwards to create some kind of round shape.
While filing, I stay away from the center line of the fret. It doesn't need to be perfect round, because after the filing, the frets will be rounded over with fine sandpaper. But before I get to that, I use the file to round over the sharp fret ends. Now I take a piece of 400 grit sandpaper, wrap it around my fingers and I go over the whole fretboard. This will remove the scratches from the file and round over all the corners. When the scratch marks of the file are gone, I switch to 600 grit sandpaper and continue sanding. After that I continue up to 1000 grit by sanding every single fret. And then I polish the frets with steel wool. So for me that's enough, so I stop right here. But of course you can go higher in grits and maybe use some metal polish. Well there you go, that's how I do the fret leveling. I hope you liked this video, if you do, please give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching.